Why do feminists disagree about how to overcome women's subordination? Part 1. Liberal and Radical Feminism Introduction Though feminists have differences of opinion, they all believe society is male-dominated and seek to change this. As such, feminism is a political movement and a sociological theory. As a modern theory, feminism's origins can be traced back to the Enlightenment, which sought to promote ideals such as equality and the idea that, through human reason, a better society can be created. For a feminist, the principles of the Enlightenment should apply to women as well as men, and its goals should include gender equality. Sex and Gender For a liberal feminist, there is a big difference between sex and gender. Sex refers to the biological differences between the men and women, such as hormonal differences. Gender, on the other hand, is a socially constructed category, meaning it is created by society through social processes like socialization and reinforced in social institutions like education. So, for feminists, as there is nothing biological about things like the housewife roles in which women stay at home and rear the children, these things can be changed to be shared more between the sexes. The concept of gender has changed over time, and it also changes between cultures. For example, until relatively recently, it was quite rare to see a male nurse, and in some cultures it is expected that women behave quite differently to men. Example, in Saudi Arabia, women are not allowed to drive. Because differences between the genders are socially constructed, they can be changed in order to make a more equal society. Liberal feminists believe this can be achieved through changes to socialization to change norms and values in relation to gender. For example, by teaching boys and girls that they can both be successful and choosing more gender-neutral toys. Campaigning for more equal laws and policies. Example, there has recently been a change in the Church of England to allow female bishops and parents can now share parental leave equally. Liberal feminism is in opposition to the functionalist theory, which sees the division of labor between the sexes as being a product of the instrumental, breadwinner role and the expressive, homemaker role. For a feminist, both women and men are equally able to fulfill these roles. As we mentioned before, because they are socially constructed, they can be challenged, allowing men and women to choose their role rather than having it thrust upon them by society. Key point. Though it is critical of functionalism, liberal feminism is the closest type of feminism to the consensus view of society. This is because, though it recognizes the conflict between men and women, it sees this as a product of laws that favor men. When these are updated to laws that seek equality between the sexes, this will be a win-win situation. For example, a law like the Equal Pay Act allows a woman to be paid the same as a man. That will in turn make the whole family unit better off, and can liberate man from the possible drudgery of being the one who is solely responsible for bringing home the bacon. Evaluation of Liberal Feminism Theories proposed by liberal feminists have been instrumental in introducing laws that seek gender equality in areas such as education, divorce, family planning, representation in the media, and lots of other areas. They have also been important in demonstrating that gender differences are not inborn, but are created. However, Others have criticized radical feminism for being too optimistic, as they see gender inequality as the product of individual prejudice or outdated laws. It follows that to change these things will lead to gender equality. Sylvia Walby notes that they offer no explanation of the overall nature of gender inequality, which many believe is a product of deep-rooted structures such as patriarchy. Thus, a change in the law cannot abolish this and will just be scratching the surface. For example, Though there is an Equal Pay Act, women are still paid less than men. Radical Feminism Radical feminism emerged in the 70s, and its key concept is patriarchy, which literally means rule by fathers. Patriarchy expresses a society that is dominated by and run for the benefit of men. For radical feminists, patriarchy is three things. It is universal. It exists everywhere due to women's biological capacity to bear children. It is the key division in society, and all men oppress women and benefit from patriarchy, particularly unpaid domestic labor. The personal is the political. For radical feminists, patriarchal oppression occurs not only in the public sphere of politics and work, but also in the private sphere of personal relationships and family life. For example, marriage involves power and is political because for a radical feminist, men within married couples seek to dominate women. 
Radical feminists refer to power relationships as sexual politics. So, radical feminists claim that in personal relationships, women are controlled through violence or the threat of it, which controls all women. For example, for Brown Miller, fear of rape acts as a deterrent, potentially stopping all women from going out at night alone. Likewise, radical feminists provide a new understanding of sexuality. Rather than seeing it as a biological urge, they claim it is constructed by patriarchy to satisfy men's desires, mostly in the form of compulsory heterosexuality. Change For radical feminists, the road to change is very different to that proposed by liberal feminists, who believe that changing laws and policies will bring equality. Radical feminists propose three main methods to change society. Separatism, consciousness raising, and political lesbianism. As for radical feminists, men and women cannot live together without oppression. They should separate, with Greer proposing the creation of matrilocal, female-centered households. Consciousness raising will allow women to spread the knowledge that women face the same problems. Examples of this include Reclaim the Night marches. Finally, women should choose a lesbian identity, as having a relationship with a man is sleeping with the enemy. Evaluation of Radical Feminism There are many ways to evaluate radical feminism. Radical feminists show us that personal relationships can avoid domination and that there is a political dimension to occurrences like domestic violence and rape. On the other hand, Marxists would assert that class, not gender, is the primary division in society. Radical feminists also do not explain why women's oppression takes different forms in different societies, and they ignore differences between women results from social class, ethnicity, and so on. For example, a middle-class woman may have more in common with a middle-class man than a working-class woman. Likewise, radical feminism inadequately explains how patriarchy can be abolished. Utopian notions like separatism are highly impractical, while heterosexual attraction makes it unlikely that the nuclear family will be abolished, according to Somerville. Perhaps most importantly, there has been steady progress in women's lives, suggesting that patriarchy is in decline. Many commentators agree with liberal feminism that changing laws and socialization patterns should bring gender equality. Summary Feminists believe men dominate society, and they wish to change this. Liberal feminists believe that we can make society more equal by changing laws and socialization patterns. Radical feminists believe that patriarchy is the main conflict in society. Separatism will bring equality through separating women from their enemies.